Hey y'all, welcome back. In today's video, we're actually getting ready to kind of host a little friends Memorial Day cookout. So I thought it'd be really fun to share with y'all how I'm decorating for summer. I've been doing the kind of patriotic theme the past few years and I really do like it. I've picked up some new pieces this year, then a few little different things. And I have to say, I'm loving how everything is looking this year. I think it's gonna be perfect for our party and perfect for the summertime in between Memorial Day all the way up until the 4th of July and I'll probably just leave it after the 4th of July until you know we decorate for fall so anyway I'm so glad you clicked on this video I'm so happy to see y'all today I'm gonna talk a little bit while I'm decorating about where I've been my little break that I took by the way thank y'all so much for checking on me but anyway before we get into all that let's go decorate for summer All right, so we're gonna start over here in this little kitchen corner. I picked up this tray, I believe from Ross recently, and I love how it has the little scalloped edges. I love using these little trays in my kitchen to kinda put a few items in there. It just helps it feel more organized. And then I was just gonna place this recipe book opened up to this 4th of July apple pie recipe I found. I love to decorate with a seasonal recipe, especially in this book with the blue kind of spiral bound wires on the side. I just tied a festive little red and white ribbon on there as well. And I just think it sets the tone for the kitchen. I'm also gonna place some greenery over here. This is just an antique picture that I have. And of course, you know, always place an American flag in there when you get the chance. And y'all, I am a kitchen lamp girly. I love my kitchen lamps. It is so cozy. I use them year round. And this is one of my favorite ones. This is actually a Christmas item, but I tend to pull it out around the 4th of July for summer because I just think it's so cute. It's just this little star with the kind of antique bulb in there. And it just looks so cozy, especially at night. And obviously we're gonna need something to conceal this outlet we have over here beside it. I so wish that outlet was more towards the corner. But anyway, this is just a little kind of hand towel ladder. I've had it forever. And I did pick up this towel from Hobby Lobby this year. I tend to have a lot of red around for summer, so I like that one was navy. And then my little recipe box just kind of sits here all the time. So this is this little corner of the kitchen. One thing that I've been eyeing for the last couple years is one of these wooden flags. And I just knew it would be the perfect backdrop to add here in the kitchen behind my stove. And it really is. I love how it fits back there. I thought I might just keep it out just for parties, but so far I've just left it out the whole time. And then of course, I love to put a candle here in the kitchen on our stove board. I was showing you this one because it doesn't really match the fourth the July patriotic aesthetic but I'm always on the hunt for these little vessels something that these Bath and Body Works candles especially will fit into and that way you don't have to worry about the color of the label if you're worried about that kind of thing but I'm not going to use this one here today but as you can see this is one I've used in the past for a candle so I just wanted to throw that idea out there but today I just love the way this candle smells so we're just going with it. Y'all, the Bath & Body Works candle that is my favorite for summer is the Summer Boardwalk, but they were sold out. So this one is just as good though. So we're gonna move over here to the other side and this is a tequila bottle that I just love how pretty it is. And I love the colors on it. It's perfect for the 4th of July. So I wanted to just leave it out. My plan is to make it into an olive oil container. I just thought that would be perfect and so pretty. So we're just gonna set that out. I have some cutting boards again with a little ribbon I just tied right on top. And now I'm just gonna kind of set everything up over here beside my stove. Thank you. 
So I haven't seen y'all in a couple months. I think it was around Easter that I last posted, but I wanted to just let everybody know we're all doing good. Everybody's good over here. I honestly just took a um, not anticipated little break. I think I was experiencing just a little bit of burnout last year in 2023. I kind of went all in on my channel and just really wanted to see what it would be like to do this full time and i have to say i did love it we grew the channel so much we got our website we had merch that i never really even talked about we still do have all these things i created my cookbook like you see here and needless to say all of those things took a whole lot of work a whole lot of time a whole lot of dedication and so like i said while i enjoyed doing all that i think just here recently my heartstrings were being pulled back to homemaking and i really just missed being able to just be a homemaker and instead of trying to pull recipes that i knew would do really great for the algorithm you know i missed being able to open up my family recipe book and pull from our favorites each week because obviously making a cookbook and having a YouTube channel and all these things, I really never created much of the same recipes. So that's just one thing, but I think all in all, I just had a little bit of burnout and I just took a much needed break. There were times when I wanted to, you know, create a video, but it was like, God just would not let me. My brain was just stuck i told darren so many times i feel like i'm just stuck i feel like i can't do it right now so like i said maybe that was god just saying just take a break it'll be all right figure out what you want to do and then come back so that's what i did and like i said my passion and what i feel is my purpose is homemaking that's what i love to do that's really why i started this channel and although I love to cook, it is a favorite of mine and it's a huge part of this channel. To me, that's not the only part of homemaking that I enjoy. I enjoy all the things, decorating, cleaning, organizing. I really enjoy all those things. As crazy as that may sound to some people. But anyway, I'm hoping to share more of those things on my channel. Of course, along with cooking and the recipes that you're used to but it was nice just to take a little step back take a little breather and really kind of refocus so now back to decorating i hope you were able to kind of follow along what i was doing wasn't too hard a minute ago but here's kind of a little overview of the kitchen and these shelves in here i did go ahead and decorate those are just some little cups over there from the party but i just basically added in things in here i, I keep a lot of my white stuff in here anyway and my clear stuff so i just added a few little pops of red white and blue all throughout these cabinets that little sign up there that says jennifer's kitchen that is something that my mother-in-law got me and it's so cute and I love to use it in the summertime with my red, white, and blue thing. And again, pulling from my Christmas decor, I always have these mugs over in my coffee cabinet and so obviously they're Christmas. I just turn them around for a little pop of red over here and then like I said, just my everyday things, I did add that grateful sign in here just to add a little bit of patriotic. This is our little kind of cubby at the top of those cabinets. I love using this picnic basket right here. The inside is like a red gingham print. I'm sure some of y'all have seen me use this before. And then that little coffee maker, what is it even called? We make cowboy coffee in it, that's all I know. And then I did get that little star in the front from Michaels this year. So I just tried to create a little summertime vignette up there. Now I'm showing y'all in my foyer. I kept it really simple. This sign I've had for a few years, pretty sure that came from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added this enamel picture with a little ribbon tied across it. And then some greenery stems and these little white flower stems. I had those in there for spring, but I thought it worked well for summer as well. 
and here is our accordion rack also kind of in our foyer very very simple just stuck a few flags in there and then a couple little items that i found from hobby lobby just to hang on that shelf this is just my super simple centerpiece that i have here on our coffee table that little candle pretty much stays there i've had these little coasters for a while they just say different little patriotic things and then i just thought that was pretty cute i think i found it from michael's as well this year just a little something to add here on our coffee table and then i'll show you what i did on our tv stand again just one simple little area over here that candle back there I got last year don't even remember where I got it from and then this little house and star just something simple to add here in the living room my favorite area though probably has to be my mantle this year I love how festive it looks I love our new mantle that Darren built um, last year it gives me a whole lot more room to play with and to decorate and again from Michaels I got this garland this year and I love the pop of color how it just pops against both the white and the wood mantle up there and then I just added a few different things again with the Christmas decor this lantern I seem to always pull it out around 4th of July time as well popped a little navy candle in there and then that little flag sign I think I got last year from probably Ross or something like that but just kind of super clean minimalistic nothing too crazy but definitely just sets the vibe for summer and then lastly, over here on this little arch piece, I wanted to add a wreath, but I have green wreaths everywhere. So I thought this one was fun from Hobby Lobby and a little bit different. I'm gonna hang it up over here, but I wanted to kind of hide that little command hook. So I'm just gonna tie some of this ribbon that I had. I'm just gonna make a simple little bow and let that kind of hang over the top. Alrighty, my friends, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for decorating with me. Let me know if you decorate in the patriotic theme, if you are just decorating now, or maybe you decorated before Memorial Day as well. I'm so happy to see you guys back. Make sure you say hello in the comments so I'll know you stopped by today, and I will see y'all real soon in the next one. Bye, y'all.